I like the blue impress nine inch high velocity band that I got over there. I think it's eight or nine inch with the star of sound and that uh, pointed tip blade design that Wuzo always do. It has the wine, the startup sound, the hum to it. I liked it so much that I'm glad it's still in production today. They only had like maybe three of them left. So I got another one. So let's pull it out and see if this one actually has a, even more pronounced startup sound or wine to it. Unlike that black one I got, it didn't really have nothing to it. But it is what it is. Sometimes they play games with the, uh, the um, shaded pole motor. And some shaded pole motors can produce that and some can't. So let's hope that's not the case with this one. But... Here we go. Let's see what we got. Should be happy. Here we go. Another fan video. Should be happy. Now, Impress cares about their customers. They always did. Just by how they take time out to make the manual right. And let's hope that they cared enough to give us a, a much more pronounced startup sound of wine. Unlike the other one did, it's pretty good. I mean, you can hear it. But just hopefully this might be a 2024 model. I'm not sure. But we'll see. I know it's too far away. Let me zoom in so y'all can at least see it. There you go. You've seen this one before, right, y'all? There you go. Yeah, don't you already have that one? Yeah, but this is, um, I think, a 2024 version of it. And let's just see if the motor has um, a star sound and wine to it. I have a lot of fans are the same. <laughs> if you like it, you sometimes get quite a few of them. All right, so let's put you guys on the table over here. Or not put you guys on the table. Let's put the fan on the table and uh, get it going to see what it got. Once again, I'm going to turn you guys over to the table here. Like I always do, let's get the fan over here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I think that's too close. Cutting off part of it. I might have to tilt it up just so you guys can hear the stream. The wind stream. Like most of these do, they don't give you too much of a choice to adjust it like how you want, which is really unfortunate. That kind of sucks pretty badly, but it is what it is. So let me put the studio light on so y'all can at least see the blades. Hopefully that's a little bit better. They're, uh, I don't know what kind of blue that is. It's not royal, I can tell you that much. It's like a mixture of, like it's kind of like a lavender blue, if you will. I would just label it as a lavender blue. It's like a lavender mixed with sky. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a really weird type of blue. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and run this thing and let's see what we got.
<laughs> it's exactly the same as the other one. It has the exact same pronunciation when it comes to the strap sound, but I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the wind stream. This thing is powerful, which is one of the reasons why I like it a lot. It definitely doesn't disappoint in that department. As far as the strap sound goes, it's there. It's just like how it is with the other one. So I'm glad they had two of them. I'm hoping you guys can hear the wind stream. You should be able to hear it according to the volume meters. All right, spin it down. How good is the spin down time? Yeah, it's about the, what you can come to expect when you get a new fan like that because the oil has to break in, obviously, before it can get better. But let's try it one more time on high speed, and then we're going to wrap this up. See if the startup sounds there. Yeah, it's there. So when you don't have other fans running and stuff like that, you can pretty much hear it. Anyway, so there's that. There it is again. The second one. I like it. Hope you enjoyed the video. You should. You should be happy. It's a fan video. The month fan man. More to come soon. And out. Thanks for watching. Fans are not being used right now in my parents' room because they're not here anymore. They're now in heaven. So we're still trying to do something with this room. If you make it a guest room, then it'll be used for whoever sleeps in here. If you make it a room where we can remember our parents when they was here, then when we're in here, we can use them. But this is no longer being used. The stand fan, the air purifier, and the ceiling fan is not being used. The air condition runs from time to time. A month the fan man and out. Fans running in the studio today for 11-13-24, November 13th, 2024. The all new blue, which looks like to be a Lavendor, somewhat sky blue Honeywell HT900L, running at full power. Over here where the computer center is. What? No computer? What happened to it? Where's that beautiful computer that we always see in the videos? Well, yesterday I had to try to put, I wanted to upgrade the CPU processor. Unfortunately, that, that fell, that flopped. That didn't go so well, so now I gave it to my nephew, and he's going to do what I hope to be a full-fledged motherboard upgrade. Get the latest DDR5 and all that stuff, the latest RAM to go with that, the, the processor, the 8-core processor, or whatever the highest, and the double, you know, put the two fans on each side of the heat sink and all that stuff. It's just a motherboard upgrade. So I don't know if that's, that could be a week, that could be two weeks, I don't know how long it's going to be, but... That's kind of where it's at. So now when you see it in new videos, you'll know where it's at. It's coming back real soon. But that's it's being upgraded. I'll put it that way. It's being upgraded. It was supposed to be a very simple, just put, just change out the CPU heatsink and uh, the processor. And that didn't go well at all. So I think it's an older motherboard and it has to be up to the day's standards. So I got to get the whole thing upgraded. Anyways, that's what that is. So you don't see it. So running this fan right here, as I told you earlier in the video. And then running... Excuse me, my bad. What a freak show. And then running the impress. The impress is running on low. The Hampton Baby branded right now is running on low, but I'm going to speed it up to medium. Off, full power, medium. Now the Hampton Baby branded for Portraits Bay is running at medium. Just turn some of these fans on in the studio because it's hot in here. And the Eye Living 20 inch with the oil port. Unfortunately, they don't make the oil ports anymore. However, I guess their way of making up for it is the motor. It's the same motor, but they added a much louder startup sound to it. I don't see how that's going to make up for it when the average consumer don't even know how to order the thing in the first place, which only us vintage and modern fan collectors know how to do that, uh, fan enthusiasts. So maybe that's not enough for them to keep the oil ports on there. I guess to save some money, they quit doing that, which makes it difficult and harder for people like me because I don't deal with spreading motors open. Anyways, running the eye living at low. The Dayton, by the original company, I'm surprised they're still around today after all this time. Um, it's not by no stinking NASCO, it's the actual company, if you read the, the information I gave you last time. Anyways, running on low. I like the way the camera makes the blade look, that's pretty cool. The Vintage 1977, 78, 
Galaxy running on, I believe it's medium. Nope, it's running on low. But I probably will speed up to medium once I get out of the shower and all that stuff. I can try to go get ready for work. So anyways, there's all the fans today, and here is a look of all the other vintage ones I have, in, I have so far uh, from the 70s. Also, I have that 1975-76 patent that spins counterclockwise, 12-inch, coming real soon with the Samsung motor that's on its way. So yeah, there you go. There's my share of vintage fans I showed you before. So Lamont the Fan Man, and out. Thanks for watching, and gone. God bless you, and gone. I know you've seen this fan many times, but... That's just the way it is. I have what I have in the collection. There you go. Now, starting next year, I want to get back to doing what I used to do. I used to record from 10 to like almost 2 or 3 in the morning. I'm going to try to get back to that and get way more fan content, more videos. Um, trying to get back to doing series like a certain type of fan. For example, an example of a series. Let's say, for example, I filmed all of the clip fans in the collection. So for weeks, I'll be filming nothing but the clip fans, the clip-on and dust fans in the entire collection. I'll go throughout the, throughout the whole entire collection, whatever I'm going to talk anyway, throughout the whole entire collection and gather up all the clip-on dust fans and just film those fans, a very specific fan in the collection, not just random fans like I'm doing now. That would be a series, a series of all the clip fans or maybe a series of all the high-velocity fans or... You know, like a series. Try to get back to what I used to do. Now that I have all the time on my hand, God willing. So that won't start until January 1, Lord willing, of next year. So I want to try to get back to some type of format. Uh, back to the the way I used to do things. The, the way I used to record. Now that I have all the time on my hand to do that. For God and for all of y'all. And with that being said, let's go ahead and film this fan. This is a... 2000, I believe it's a 2023-24 Holmes fan. Only a handful of these ever been made. So let's go ahead and run it. This is the so-called sky blue one, but it looks more lavender blue. So let's go ahead and run it. This is kind of like their answer to the Honeywell HT 900 and then a brand new one the HT 900L which is the one I got coming later on the day the royal blue one the same one that the super fan man has so when I when that one come in today I'll have an unboxing of that enjoy the video this thing is moving a crap load of air It's always a adjusting freak show. Spin down time is decent. Yep, I like that. Really good. Must be well oiled for that type of blade right there. That weighs that much. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. More fan videos to come soon. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. That's going to wrap it up for this recording session. The recording sessions will start getting much, much longer starting next year on January 1st, Lord willing. Like we used to do long before all this stuff started happening to the family. 
It's going to take us a long time to recover. Keep in mind, we're still grieving. We're still grieving with hope over the loss of my parents. So we're grieving in many different ways now. And I, uh, I want to keep that private. I'm not going to go about telling you how we're doing it. But it's just a private thing. It's between us and God. So just know that we're still grieving with hope. And um, I trust and pray all who are Christians out there will keep us in prayer. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless you and go. Here is my rotating guard box fan where the, the guard automatically rotates. This one is mortar driven. And I have another one over there. It's like white and blue. That's mortar driven. And then I have a black one that's air driven. So I have about three of these in the collection. So let's go ahead and run it. Unfortunately, it won't let me get up to speed number six until the battery is charged enough. So it'll only allow me to get up to speed number three. So with that, hopefully you'll be able to hear the wind stream. Okay, now it won't even let me power the darn thing up. Okay, that's embarrassing. I just ran this thing off camera. Now it won't let me. There it goes. Let me see if it, well, yeah, it features the temperature as well. It does have the temperature. It's 84 degrees. It seems like it's pretty accurate. Let's see if this thing will let me get up to at least speed four. Pretty sure it won't. Nope. Just speed three until the stinking battery charges. But I think speed three is good enough where you guys should be able to hear the wind strain. It does blow way harder than this. I'll be glad that you're here. Enjoy the video. This fan don't get used that much in the collection. It's probably because I got so many of them in here. But it's kind of like what Jordan says. Eventually, I'm going to have to pull different ones out of the collection to be able to enjoy them. Otherwise, I'll never get around to being able to enjoy all of them in the entire collection. Unless I rotate the fans and switch up. So if I don't do that, I'll never be able to enjoy every single one of these that God has given me in the collection. And I mean, he's given me a ton of them. But in order to be able to enjoy them, I just have to switch up every now and then, no matter what size it is, and enjoy the fan. But that's another story and video for another time. Enjoy this one. It does have a light. Let me see if I can get the light to work. Okay, so here's the light. That's about as bright as the light get right there. I hope y'all see that. Not my apologies to you. Pretty sure you did. I might have to turn the overhead off, but anyways, it does have a light. All right, let's go ahead and get to the re rotating guard. It only goes in one direction, that's it. The way that the fan is spinning.
All right, let's go ahead and spin this thing down. That's pretty much it for this because it won't let me get up to full speed. Okay, here we go. Spin down time on the fan blade. It's not the greatest, but it is what it is. Probably because it's DC. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. More to come soon. I'm out. Fan man and out. Two fans in the studio running. I'm out the fan man and out. Okay, so here is my Hunter fan. This is a 8-inch Hunter two-speed high-velocity fan. Unfortunately, Hunter no longer makes this fan. It's out of production. This fan was only made for a short time. And right now, if you was going on Amazon or eBay or anywhere, you wouldn't be able to find this fan. It wouldn't come up. It no longer exists. It's not being made no more. It was made for a short time. It is quite powerful. Let's go ahead and run it. One of those fans where it takes up, it takes time to get up to speed. So once it really gets up to speed, you'll start hearing the wind stream. It does have somewhat of a startup sound to it. It utilizes, if I can speak right, it utilizes a shaded full C frame motor. So it's kind of give it a chance to let the fan blade spin up and hopefully you'll hear the wind stream. I think I have it on high. Yeah, that's low. And that's high. Yeah, that thing has a strap sound and it has a hum and a whine and all that to it, but it's very faint. So I do apologize. It's got one of those stupid shaded pole motors where it takes forever for it to warm up. And once it warms up, then it gets up to like full power. Besides, this is the last video I'm filming anyway before I go to sleep, so I guess I'll just let it work its way up to full power. If it gets too long, then I'll just have to shut it off and end the video. So I'll try to enjoy it. Sure hope that's not it, because if that's it, if that's how strong it is, then yes, I can see why they discontinued it. It's a weak fan. But let's hope that's not the case. It seems like that might be the case, though. You would think low, low is high speed. But nope, that's low speed. It's barely moving anything. Well, we'll give it a few more minutes to get up to speed. If it don't, then I'm at the end of the video. I guess the real question now becomes, is it getting any better? Is it starting to speed up any faster? Because this thing should be throwing all kind of power. But if it has a weak motor, well, that's the reason why it ain't throwing a whole lot of power. It looks like you guys can hear the wind stream now. Judging by the, uh, the audio meters. It's a pretty decent breeze. That's kind of like what low speed should be, the high speed on this. I guess their original intentions was to make this fan quiet. Well, I guess the only the way they can do that is, is to rob you out of the uh, the power of the motor just to kind of messing up on the power of the motor in order to make it quiet, which is really unfortunate because then it won't move much air. It's not like I can hear it now. It's not like it's starting to get up to speed. It just takes a motor forever to get up to speed. Because it's starting from a cold start. This fan's been sitting out for like months. So I believe that's what the problem is. And anytime you have a fan sitting out like that for months and haven't been used, it's starting from a cold start. So just give it a chance and it'll get up to speed.
See, it's got a, you can hear that whine now. It actually does have a start sound. I didn't realize it at the time, but it actually does have a start sound, a hum, and a whine. Let me turn that TV down some so y'all can hear it. The camera usually picks it up better than what our ears can hear, so once we play it back on the camera, it should sound way better. Or play it back on the video. There it goes. Now it's getting up to speed. Y'all hear that? And the wine is getting louder. So I think this thing is powerful. It's got a very distinct hum. I'll be quiet and let y'all hear it. There you go, it's getting up to full speed. Now this thing is moving a lot of power. It just had to start from a cold start, and I thought it was weak, but it's not. So I'll take that back. My apologies to y'all. It's not a weak fan. It's actually strong and powerful. It's moving a lot of air. It just takes a long time to get up to speed, especially when that motor has to warm up like that. And that hum is very beautiful. I wish I can get one. I wish I can get one so I can have that wine hum too. Yeah, unfortunately, I got this earlier. I believe I got it last year. Was it last year? Or this? No, it was last year. I got it last year. And unfortunately, this year, I don't know how long this machine's been around. I just happened to see it on Amazon last year. And I, so I bought it and I went to go check for it again and it was discontinued, unfortunately. I don't know, the Amazon, I mean, eBay deals with a lot of new old stocks. Sometimes people turn stuff in. Sometimes they might have a large quantity of this still. So you might want to, even though they rip you off, you might want to check eBay out or Walmart. But Amazon definitely don't have this no more if you're really looking for one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spin it down now that they got it to full speed. Because I'm getting ready to go to sleep. This is a decent fan. Glad I got it. It's convenient. It's an eight inch and spin it down. Now the spin down time is not all that great. I think the blade is light. It's not a lack of oil, although most of these Chinese fans they don't put in the oil, so it's probably that and the blade is light. But here we go. Spin down time. Yeah, that's about what you can come to expect when they don't put enough oil, so. It's just a typical basic shaded pole motor. Just give it some oil in the front bearing and it'll be okay. I'm out the fan man and now good night and going to sleep. Here is my 10 inch climate keeper uh, box fan. <laughs> oh God, I'm so tired. What am I thinking? Yeah, when you get tired at night, you don't know what the heck you're thinking. Anyways, here is my 10 inch Shanique box fan. Uh, with gray blades, which I personally don't like gray at all. I might end up taking it out and put a white blade in here. It'll look a lot better. It's just the whole darn thing is white anyway. Just swap the blade out and do a blade swap. But anyways, that's another video for another time. Let's go ahead and quickly run this. And here we go. Can you hear the windscreen? Well, it depends. I do have it sitting on the box. That's one of the reasons why I kept the box. So, uh, this is sitting up higher than usual. Well, you should be able to hear the wind stream. If not, it's a box fan. I can't adjust it. I do apologize.
Takes time for it to get up to speed, but it's getting up there. According to the volume meters, it looks like you guys can barely hear the wind stream. That's unfortunate. I do apologize. Enjoy the video. If you can. You seem to have a lot of power. It is getting up to speed with that shape of motor. I wish they would start putting C front, not shape, um, PSE motors in these. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's spin it down. Oh, there we go. There's a camera kick for the tripod. Right, Jordan? That's what you do all the time, bro, right? Okay, spin it down. I'm not, gonna, I'm not exactly sure if you're going to be able to see the spin down time. It's a stinking blades gray, which I don't like gray at all. It's just a personal preference. It's not my favorite color. Just because I don't like it don't mean other people don't like it. They do like it. I just personally don't like it. It's not my favorite color. You guys already know by now my favorite color is blue. All the different shades are blue, but my favorite out of them all is royal. All right, that's it. So thanks for watching. The Month Fan Man and out. Thanks for watching. So for the first time, this fan has been sitting out of service for a long time. And I uh, haven't used it. This is the 20-inch iLiving. High velocity fan with the oil ports. The new ones today, unfortunately, no longer come with the oil port, but still has the same full size motor. So we're gonna run this up, one up for the first time. Let's see, and here it goes. Starting off on low. Trying to smooth as butter. It is dirty. I need to get the blades cleaned up. I don't think I need to oil it, but it has oil ports. Just because it has oil ports don't mean oil it. So there's that. It just means oil it when the bearings get all dry. It's running quite well, so we're gonna put the true value. I'm gonna put the true value up here where the eye living was, right behind the Ken Brown. Has a DC motor. It is brushless. Unfortunately, it seems like many fans are going heading towards that direction. Going DC, which is unfortunate, which I personally don't like those motors unless they have oil ports. So there's that. That's where that's going to be at for a while. Whereas this one right here is going to be in service. I'll cool the room down on low, which is pretty much high speed for most fans today. So there you go. It does have the oil ports. All right. Unfortunately, if you was to get this today, you would not see oil ports. Unless you get an old new stock, like the one they had prior to that. Which, if you get that, then you're pretty, you're pretty lucky to get that. But uh, most likely, uh, the new ones today no longer have oil ports. There you go. While we're showing fans, I might as well show the Hampton Baby branded on medium for Porches Bay, like I always do. Vintage Galaxy at full power, keeping the room cool, 1977, 78, most likely a 78 with the point tip blades. And the Dayton in the window, exhausting all the heat at full power like I always show you. Might as well do it. Start it out, so. Of course, the Master Force, medium power. The Impress, medium power. All right, so I think that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. More videos to come soon, the Mount the Fan Man, and out. Running some fans today in the studio on November the 11th, 2024. And now we're running the Dayton in the window. Okay, we got the Dayton. No, this is not Dayton by Lasco. This is the actual Dayton company. 
according to the tag here. So you can't see it too good. Let's see. There's no man on it. Go ahead and pause that and you can read the information. Be sure to do that. That way you can see what I'm talking about. It's not Dayton by Lasco. This is a real Dayton company. There you go. All right, let's zoom back out. Running that fan at full power. The Dayton. The vintage 1977-78. Galaxy 12 inch. Recently cleaned it up and gave it oil running at full power. Because it's hot in the studio. And the Master Force. 9 inch high velocity fan with a full size motor running at low power. The Impress with the blue blade startup sound and the wine, using the blue one, not the black one, running at medium power. They had the baby branded for Porches Bay, been running since 2019, still going strong, running at medium power. The Value Tech. Running at full power. And the vintage fans over here are not running. Want the fan man, more to come soon, and out. Out the fan man and out. Here is a now discontinued rebranded Honeywell under some off the wall brand name. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that brand name. Of course, this fan utilizes the gray blade, which I don't like the color gray at all. Nothing wrong with the blade, I just don't like the color gray. It's just a personal preference. I don't really like the color gray, but you know, it's the only color finish that the blade came in, anyways. So let's go ahead and run this fan at full power, and that's going to wrap up the video for this morning. Recording videos for all of you. Full power. I had to get this one like three times. First time I bought this fan when it was still in production. The low speed still worked, but the medium and high died on it. The second time I bought it, the whole entire thing was busted. The motor was busted. The blade was busted. Everything was busted. Had to throw it out. And then I had hesitated to buy it for the third time because I didn't want to waste money like that. So, against my better judgment, I said, you know what? What the heck? I'll try it again. Bought it again. And here it is. It's been working ever since. The only thing I had to do to it was push the blade back on the shaft. It's like the Chinese freak shows in China didn't care about trying to fix it right. It's been working ever since, and unfortunately, it's discontinued. No, you cannot find this fan anymore. It is now discontinued. All right, let's spin it down. Spin down time. It's because the blades are too light. Thanks for watching. The month fan man. Now I'll see y'all soon. Lord willing. Here is my seven inch white wuzu. I also have the eight inch white wuzu. I also have the eight inch white oscillating wuzu. And then I also have the baby four inch wuzu fan. And all the same variant. I got the entire set of the white one. All right, so let's go ahead and run this one, and let's run it at full power. Enjoy.
enjoy the video. Unfortunately, these fans have been discontinued. This particular model, this design, and they have newer models today. If you still find them, get them while you can. Spin down. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. I'm out the fan man and out. It's powerful. Value tech. Powerful 12 inch fan. I'm out the fan man and out. It's hot in the studio because we're running the heater. Also, the sun is beaming over the studio, so that makes it even hotter. The 9212, I'm sorry, the 9214, not the 9212, but the 9214 Air King on medium, exhausting the heat. The Vinci's 1978. Galaxy running on medium and oscillating. Royal Blue. The Vintage 1978 Kuhan running at full power because it's hot, non oscillation. The 2024 Value Tech running on low with the dark really dark navy blue blades you would think they're black but they're extremely dark navy blue and the dainton with black blades not navy blue but real black blades true black running at full power and the hampton bay rebranded for Porches bay Running at medium. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Gotta get out of here now. Get ready for the day. The month of fan man, more to come soon and out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here is my nine inch trendy high velocity fan. It does have somewhat of a startup sound. It has a total of five blades. Let's go ahead and run it at full power. Hope you can hear the wind stream. If not, my apologies to you. Enjoy the video.
All right, spin down. Spin down time is decent. Has a pretty cool startup sound. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Lamont the Fan Man, more to come soon, and out. Here is my 12 inch resting house high velocity fan. It's only resting house by name. Unfortunately, the original company been gone. So some Chinese free shows just grabbed the name and slapped it on there. But, anyways, let's go ahead and run it. It's a hard conversation to have when you die. This is what's going to happen. You'll be able to hear the wind scream. Not my apologies to you. Other than that, enjoy the video. Spin down. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Lamont the Fan Man and out. Quick video on another iPhone case. And this one happens to be white because white is one of my favorite colors when it comes to iPhone cases. So hold on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay. Here we go. Actually, this is kind of like a stone white. It's not necessarily white white, but it's about the closest thing I could find to white because what I wanted, unfortunately, the company hasn't made it yet for the 16 Pro Max. It's only still being made for the 15 Pro Max, and I already have that on my 15 Pro Max. So this actually comes with screen protectors and all that kind of stuff. I don't need the screen protectors. Actually, I do, but I'm like, my phone is fine. I already have a screen protector on this one before. So here's the screen protectors, here's all the stuff you need for it. Here's a thank you letter, it says thank you. And then here is the case. Why am I going so fast? Well, because I gotta get ready to go to work. So here's the case, it's kind of got like that tan color, like, you know, that uh, desert titanium. It's basically where it is. They call it stone, but really it's desert titanium. And there it goes, as the cutout for the camera. So yep, that's it. There you go, desert titanium case. Not necessarily stone white, but it's, uh, yeah, desert titanium. All right, thanks for watching. The Monk Fan Man and out more videos come soon. More fan videos come soon. For people who are waiting for a fan video, I have your fan video coming soon. The Monk Fan Man and out. It's 87 degrees in the studio. At a maximum of 28% humidity. It's 86 degrees in the studio. At a maximum of 27% humidity. It's pretty warm in here. Running some fans in the studio because it's so warm. The Vintage 1978 cool horn on low speed, just over here by the computer. And the 2024 Value Tech on low. The 2019 Hampton Bay rebranded for Porches Bay on medium. The 2008 Rex Lord, they was kind of Lakewood at the time. They were trying to mimic Lakewood, especially with the badge. 
and the 2017 92-14 Air King running at full power. The 1978 Galaxy Royal Blue Bladed running at full power and oscillating. Thanks for watching. The Mark the Fan Man, more to come soon and out. Fans I use at night when I get ready to go to sleep. The 1978 Galaxy with the pointy tip blades running on low. Not oscillating. The 1978 Cool Horn with the pointy tip blades running on low. Not oscillating. The 2024 Value Tech running on low. The 2019 uh, Hampton Bay rebranded for Portage Bay running on medium. And the 2023 P Box Fan running on medium. The 2024 version of the P. Unfortunately, it's not running at all. Thanks for watching. The Mott Fan Man, more to come soon. Hope you enjoyed the video and out. All right, this is my little six inch a Polar high velocity fan and we're gonna go ahead and spin it down. I've had this fan for a long time. I also have it under the brand name B1, which was a Polar secondary brand name. Unfortunately, a Polar does not deal with Amazon anymore, but they still sell all their products through their own website at apolar.com, apolar.com. Unfortunately, when you order off of there, you're ordering your products directly from China. Not good at all. But if you like their products and you're willing to wait that long till they come, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. The month, man, man, more to come soon. And out. That's going to do it for this production, and good night. Here is my home's high-velocity fan. It looks very much like the Honeywell. 800 unfortunately is not but it's quite powerful and unfortunately they don't make this one no more this has now been discontinued it was only made for a short time well thankfully i still got one so let's go ahead and run it at all power Moves a lot of air. It's quite powerful. It's unfortunate that they um, only made it for a short time. Homes is owned by uh, Jordan Home Environment. So they're the, main, they're the same ones that deal with Patton. They're the same ones that deal with the Lakewood brand name. They slap all those names on their fans.
All right, spin down. Spin down time is short. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The month, fan man, and out. More videos to come soon. Spin down time is pretty decent, even though it was short. The month, fan man, and out. Thanks for watching. This is the black variant of the P, and today I'm getting the white variant of the P. But what's the difference? Just the color. That's all. Just the color variant. These are great fans to have. They're portable, 20,000 milliamp battery. You can take it anywhere you want. You're traveling or going somewhere. 20,000 milliamp battery will last you pretty much all day, depending on what speed you're running on. It will last you all day long if you're running on low, which provides plenty of air. So this is running at full power. Enjoy the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Enjoy the video. These fans are easy to clean. You just turn the front cover leave it counterclockwise and then the cover will come off and all you do is clean the blade the fan blade does not come off the motor it is magnetized it has a magnet inside it that spins uh, the blade on the motor you try doing that you'll break the whole motor off don't do that if you have one of these you just clean the blade with a damp cloth front and back blow out the back cover with a with a uh, compressed air and then wash out the front cover and that's it. That's all you can do. It does not have, have it does not have oil ports. It's nearly impossible to oil it because again, if you try to pull the blade off the motor, you'll destroy the whole thing. So that's really unfortunate. There's nothing you can do about that. It's just the way it is. And it's a direct current motor. Brushless. Alright, let's spin it down. Spin down time is decent. It wriggles back and forth. There you go. It's brushless. The month and man and out. Let's film it. Spin down. Spin down time is decent. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my home's 8 inch high velocity fan made by Wuzu. You can tell by the Wuzu blades, it has the L blade design. This fan is still in production. However, the 6 inch model is no longer in production. 
The Mock the Fan Man and out. Thanks for watching. The current setup of fans running in the studio. Again, this has been on the table ever since I got it. It is the Lasco Air King 9723 without being uh, tampered with, without being modified, running at low. And low speed on this fan is like high speed for most box fans today. So that's basically what it amounts to. It's almost like this fan has three different levels of high speed because it's meant for industrial. So that's what that is. The Air King 9214 still in the rental exhausting. Running at full power or high speed. The Vintage 1974-75 Kuhorn with the Royal Blue Blades running on low. The Vintage HC Beauty 1972-73 running on, I believe, high speed or full power. The Hampton Bay rebranded for Portraits Bay on medium. Thanks for watching. The Mutt Fan Man and out. It's decent. I've had it since 2019. It's running well. It gives me no problems at all. It's been running nonstop ever since I had it installed back in 2019. And now we're in 2024 and it's holding up quite well. I never turn this thing off. It always runs on medium or either low. For the most part, medium. It's a Hampton Bay rebranded for Porches Bay. Might as well turn the light on because all y'all gonna start talking about well, how come you wanna turn the lights on when you show? Well, there you go. It does look pretty cool with the lights on. Now y'all seeing it, everybody should be happy. There you go. I don't do much on ceiling fans, but this is the only one I have in the collection. I like it. It has brown blades. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. More videos to come soon. Wait, comment, subscribe, share, love and like, and all that good stuff. Lamont the Fan Man, and out. God bless you, and gone. It's been holding up quite well in the bathroom. It's doing an excellent job. It's the comfort zone. I like the way the camera makes the blade look when it's spinning. Had it in here for a while now. This is in memory of my mom and dad. When we used to have the climbing keep here and they used to use it all the time. Ended up getting rid of it because the, you know, it was running out of oil. And I just didn't need it anymore. It was kind of beat up, so I gave it away at the uh, rehab center. Not too far from where I worked at the family business. So I decided to put this one in here. It has that newer style garbage blade that don't have much pitch, but surprisingly it's moving much air. It's moving quite a bit of air. It's doing a good job. It is, without getting too close, the stinking camera wants to be out of focus. It is the comfort zone. All right. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. The month of fam and more to come soon. God bless you and gone. Running some fans in the studio today. Running the 1978-1979 Vintage Galaxy. Royal Blue Blade Oscillating Death Fan on low in non oscillation. Royal Blue Blades, nice and quiet, moving a ton of air. Running the Vintage 1974 75 mid 70s Kuhorn on low. Royal Blue Blades. Running the Vintage 1972 73 Little Death Fan. The HC Beauty, basically a rebranded Lasco. You can tell because there's those stinking clips that Lasco used. A rebranded Lasco on full power. And as always, the Hampton Bay rebranded for Portraits Bay running at medium. I'm not the fan, ma'am. More to come soon. Thanks for watching. God bless you and gone and out.
All right, spin down. All right, this is my camping fan. It's quite powerful. It has eight speeds. The ninth speed is uh, one of those speeds where it kind of cycles through all the different speeds, which I don't care for. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The Mont Man Man and our more to come soon. Here is a 10-inch Chinique. Uh, box fan, two speed box fan in the white finish with a smoke gray blade. So we're gonna pull it out and see what we got. It is a two speeder. It's almost like that uh green one I showed you a while back. It's basically the same thing. So let's open it up and see what we're dealing with. You should be happy. Have a fan video, be happy. Okay, so let's see what we're dealing with. That's a picture of what it looks like right here. There you go. It has like wide blades, two speed. It looks almost like the old style comfort zone. There you go. It says high, what, high velocity. They claim that it's high velocity. Well, I wouldn't exactly put it like that. It is pretty strong, but I wouldn't necessarily go that far to say that it's a high velocity box fan. Model number is BP-9B. It is ETL listed. UL listed is way better. But unfortunately, nothing made these days are really UL listed in terms of fans. But unless it's something like uh, the TPI or, you know, something along those lines. But I think even the TPIs are now going um, ETL, which is really unfortunate. But that's a whole different video for a whole nother time. Let's unbox this thing and let's see what we're dealing with. tell that Shanique don't really care about their customers at all. I mean, if those Chinese free shows can do something like this to you, yeah, that just shows you how much they really care about you. I can care less about a fan manual, but wow, you can tell they really don't care about you at all. 
Well, let's hope they care enough to make the fan right. So, let's see what that's like. If I, if I didn't know any better, I would have to say that this fan is basically made by the manufacturer that produces these fans for Comfort Zone. Because if you look at it, it is that fan. It has the exact same stinking gray blade that they use in the Comfort Zone. That's exactly the same blade that you would find in the Comfort Zone. I'm surprised they didn't put a white blade in here. That would have been better since the whole darn thing is white. I personally don't like gray. That's not my favorite color at all. But I do have some fans in the collection that utilizes the gray blade. But just because it utilizes the gray blade don't necessarily mean I like it. It's a fan blade. I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I'll take that back. Actually, there is something wrong with it. It's called out of balance. Every single fan you get these days, if it ain't vintage, is out of balance. It's just the way it is. So we're running this to see what, what it does and how strong it is and all that kind of mess. And we'll move forward from there. I suppose I could probably put the Climate Keeper blade set. That's from that uh, rebranded box fan that we see so many manufacturers snap their name on. It looks almost like the Massey. But uh, just to give it a white blade, I really don't like gray. But anyways, that's another story for another time and another video. So let's go ahead and plug this thing up and let's see what we got. I tilt it back so y'all could uh, hopefully hear the wind stream. The ceiling fan on medium and on low, so that way it won't hinder the performance of the fan. So I'm going to turn that TV down. It's kind of loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this thing and see what we got. It's got a stinking gray blade in it, which I don't like gray blades at all. Nothing wrong with the blade in terms of the color. It's just that uh, gray is not my favorite color, put it that way. So let's go ahead and run it and see what we got. Let's see if this thing's out of balance. Oh, yeah, that's out of balance, that's for sure. I can feel it resonating through the table, and it is out of balance, just like I suspect. Stinking Chinese buttholes can't even get a blade made right no more. They don't even know how to make a blade right. Uh, freak shows don't know how to make a blade right. They got all the machinery to make the blade right, to shape it, to mold it correctly, so that it's not out of balance. They have that machinery. They just don't care to make it right. And why should they care? Because, I mean, we sit up there and buy their junk all the time. So why should they go out of their way and care if we're constantly buying their stuff? It's, it's funny how we're constantly buying their stuff. I'm talking about modern-day fan collectors or just an average consumer buying their stuff. And I'm not referring to the vintage people, so don't get on here and start talking about vintage stuff. I get it. I know y'all vintage. I understand. I'm talking about us modern-day fan collectors and just the average consumer. I want everybody to understand that. Now, with that understanding, it's funny how we buy their stuff Knowing that it's not made right anymore because they don't care. But that's the kind of message that we're sending to them. I don't care how you make it. Just send it to us anyway. We'll buy it as long as it works. Well, that's what they're doing. And they don't care how they make it. They don't care that it's out of balance. 
It's not as out of balance as I thought it was in the very beginning, but it's still vibrating pretty, pretty uh, strongly. You know, so, huh, there we go. <laughs> Hopping into the camera. So that's what that is. It's funny how we buy this stuff and then we want to turn around and whine about it because, you know, us modern day fan collectors, not the average consumer. The average consumer can care less about it. It's a stinking fan to them. We just put it on, use it somewhere and all that. They don't care about out of balances. They don't care about oiling motors and all that mess. They don't know anything about that mess. They just buy a fan, put it on and use it and turn it off. That's all they know about a fan. But when it comes to us collectors, we're the only ones that whine about stuff like that. Us modern day fan collectors. Those of us who are there. But anyways... So enough on that rant. Well, it's running. It's up to full speed. I don't know if y'all hear the uh, wind stream. You don't hear the wind stream? My apologies. To That's why I have it tilted back. You probably don't hear it because the airflow, even though it's running on high, it's not that strong. And that is low. I'm mean, sorry. That, is that high? Yeah, that's high speed. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was low. Now back to high speed. I'm just doing that because I want to see if y'all can hear the wind screen. Well, let's spin it down. Let's see what we got. It seems pretty strong. It's like that green one I have. It is pretty strong. I think it has like a 38 watt motor or maybe a 40 watt motor. Spin down time is weak. That's very, that's whack. Now, maybe it just has to break in a little bit more. So maybe I'll just let it run on the table for a while and just let it break in overnight. Not that this fan is going to cool the room, but just kind of let the oil get into the bearings. Maybe I'll do that overnight when I go to sleep, and then I'll see how it is in the morning. But if the spin-down time is still the same in the morning, and it's not a good spin-down time, then at some point I probably need to pull it apart and give it a couple of drops of oil to see if we can get the spin-down time longer. But why would I put all that work into it if I'm not going to put it in service just yet? So if I plan to use this over there by the computer or something, which right now I'm using all my vintage fans, then I probably would do that. Kind of give it a couple of drops of oil on, on the front bearing only, and, and that should work. Since that's the main bearing that spins the blade, the back bearing don't really need that much work. It doesn't get worked that hard like the front bearing does. All right, well, there's your fan video. Hope you enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like, and all that good stuff. The month fan man, more to come soon. And out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. The Monte Fan Man and out. Here is my Vornado 460. Let's go ahead and run it at full power for the video. This thing is very powerful for a, uh, a 7 to 8 inch fan. This thing throws a crap load of air. Most fans this side don't move that much air at all this size. But this little Vornio 460 throws a ton of freaking air. Enjoy the video.
All right, let's spend our time in short because the blades are light. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. More to come soon. Levant the fan man and out. Lamont the fan man and out. Thanks for watching. The light is super bright. You see how bright it is out here. It's shining on everything. It's 300 watts, but it's equivalent to 300 watts. It's not the real 300, but it's equivalent as far as the brightness is concerned. It's only 33 watts equivalent to 300. The Mont Fan Man, hand out. Thanks for watching. It is cold out here and it feels like a windstorm. Even though technically it's not a windstorm. But you can see the wind is whipping. You can see that the flag is all ripped up and tore up on the floor. But you can see it's ripping. So we're about to get some rain, lightning, thunder, hailing, probably potential tornadoes. We don't never get hurricanes out here in California. I've never really even seen a tornado, but that kind of weather is about to return back to California. It is cold out here. You can tell summer's over and it's fall time. But definitely waiting for that rain, lightning, thunder, and hailing to come. It's long overdue for the whole entire state of California. This video might not be interesting to most, but to, for those who like weather, the rain is on its way. I'm not the fan man. And